you're welcome once again to another video right in this particular channel well if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to our channel and please turn on the bell notification button so you never miss an exciting video today we have an exclusive story about the ANC and of course the controversy surrounding former president Jacob Zuma so let's dive right in well recently at curious fountain stadium in duban anc secretary general who goes by the name fikile mbalula addressed thousands of enthusiastic supporters mbalula discussed the party's ambitious plan to create jobs and of course lend support to traditional leadership however amidst his speech he took a strong stance against the former president, Jacob Zuma, accusing him of handing South Africa over to the Gupta family on a silver tray. Imbalula revealed that the ANC had informed Jacob Zuma that they were recalling him from his position as president to assist him. He disputed Zuma's claims that he was removed without knowledge of his next steps, mentioning a popular chant in quotes what did so and so do imbalula questioned why the anc would retain a president who faced charges of wrongdoing he emphasized that they had told zuma they were removing him in order to help him as he had already been in power for a significant period while well, mbalula challenged zuma's assertions that he would bring positive change asking why he hadn't done so during his previous years in office. Well, I think Mbalula actually has the point. I mean, come to think of it, Jacob Zuma was in power for a long time, and if at all, he's actually fighting to get back in power, promising South Africans that he wants to make things right. I mean, what happened when he was a president? For goodness sake, he was a president, and he was supposed to make good use of his term of office at that time. I mean, assuming he did well, Assuming he had no records or no bad records, believe me, South Africans would have been rushing to vote him in. But right now, we are skeptical because we don't know his next agenda. I mean, he was actually removed from power or rather advised to leave power because they knew that, okay, he did something wrong when he was in power. That is exactly why they wanted him to leave. But right now, come to think of it, he is actually still fighting to be a president when he knows very well that when he was a president, he instead made South Africans very much angry. So I'll just ask you this question. Do you think Jacob Zuma coming back to be in power is a good idea? Would you actually vote him in again if you had the opportunity to like make it a single decision and that decision should count? Would you vote Jacob Zuma in or you'd rather prefer he stays out? Well, according to Mbalula, Jacob Zuma had effectively handed South Africa to the Gupta family, who were originally from India. He claimed that Zuma allowed the Guptas to exert significant influence over the country's affairs. Mbalula expressed disappointment, stating that while they had fought for Zuma and offered assistance, they had taken no action against him. Mbalula called for the truth to prevail, urging South Africans to recognize that Zuma had not been mistreated. Mbalula highlighted the ongoing battle against those seeking to regress South Africa's progress. Well, he referred to them as the enemy who aimed to hinder the struggle for freedom. Mbalula emphasized that the ANC had no wrongdoing to answer for. Instead, it was certain individuals who had tarnished the party's name by prioritizing theft and greed when, they, when, when given leadership positions. He firmly stated that the ANC denounced such behavior and stood against corruption, theft, and greed. Turning to the topic of job creation, Mbalula announced that the ANC had set an ambitious target of generating 2.5 million job opportunities within the next five years. While well, this initiative aimed to combat the prevalent issue of unemployment in the country could actually be a lot for the ANC. Mbalula acknowledged that over the years, the ANC had, had made significant progress in meeting the basic needs of the working class, including providing housing, electricity, 
water and sanitation, health care, education, public transport, and not leaving behind infrastructural development. Well, he stressed that this was the primary focus of the ANC's work. Furthermore, Mbalula we assured the audience that the ANC respected and supported traditional leadership. He specifically mentioned the Zulu king and of course the Amakosi, highlighting the ANC's respect for them. Mbalula made it clear that the party did not want politics interfering in matters of traditional leadership. He emphasized that the ANC remains neutral on such issues. Well, in conclusion, Fikili Mbalula's speech at Curie's Fountain Stadium shed light on the ANC's perspective on the controversial actions of former President Jacob Zuma. Mbalula strongly criticized Zuma for allegedly handing South Africa to the Gupta family. Guys, please subscribe before leaving and of course leave your thoughts right down. Thank you.